Ian has now weakened into a slow moving category two storm and it's still hammering the state with catastrophic winds and storm surge. And tonight more than two million people are without power. We have live team coverage on Ian's impact. We began with local 10 Janice Fernandez live in Tampa and how are the conditions right now Janice. Calvin and Nicole, the conditions not getting worse, but they're not getting better. We are sort of in a holding pattern right now where the wind is very gusty and the rain is relentless. And that is what has officials here at Tampa very concerned with potential flooding and of course damage from the winds. But as you take a look at the damage across the west coast of Florida, it's unbelievable. Hurricane Ian tearing through Florida, making landfall near Cayo Costa as a Category 4 storm. Winds clocking in over 150 miles per hour, lashing the coast. Check this out. Fierce winds taking out power lines in Naples. Watch as sparks fly during a heavy gust. This time-lapse video shows the water rising and flooding streets in a matter of minutes in Sanibel Island, the island experiencing significant storm surge. And look at this video from a home in Fort Myers as water gets inside, but look how high the water is from outside. But in Tampa Bay, not rising water, but water receding. This is quite a sight to see as of early Wednesday, I'm standing right in Tampa Bay and this is what's called a reverse storm surge and it's when the wind direction pushes the water out. The last time we saw something like this was in 2017 during Hurricane Irma. I'm a commercial fisherman so I, I'm on this water every day so I mean I've never seen it like this. But by late afternoon a stern warning from officials in the Tampa Bay area to shelter in place as the water would rise back up. Don't go out there. It's so dangerous to be out there so even if you see the water receding it's not the time to go out there and, and look at it. And, and not just the water, but also debris scattered all across the roadways here in the Tampa Bay area. And that is why officials are saying for tonight, you really just got to stay inside. And we really won't have a good idea of the damage across Tampa Bay and much of the west coast of Florida until we get some light tomorrow. We will wait and we will see. Reporting live in Tampa, Janice Fernandez, Local 10 News.